What's up guys, doing my new pair of boots video. Uh, I said I was originally going to go with the Magnum boots, but I actually started shopping around because I was really serious about buying a new set of boots, and I uh, actually bought them that day. I made that video and they just finally came in. I bought them from LA Police Gear Incorporated, and I finally got them in. Turns out that a lot of other companies are using that... Uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's some kind of coating that goes over your boots that protects you from bloodborne pathogens or any kind of blood bodily fluids that you're going to be coming across out in the field, whether you're a medic, whether you're EMT, whether you're law enforcement, security, or anything where you're going to come across any kind of fluid, body fluid, or any kind of material liquid that you don't want on your boots. And it turns out 511 does it as well. So the boots were cheaper with 511 in LA. Uh, LA Police Gear Incorporated was having a deal where if you bought a set of boots you got five sets of socks and a boot knife but I guess unfortunately I was a little late in the game and they sent me they said white socks but I guess I was late in the game I didn't want white socks anyways I prefer the black ones they sent me three sets of uh, black 511 socks with the purchase of my boots uh, which I, re I really, really would rather have the socks over a boot knife anyways I really wasn't interested in the boot knife I mean boot knives are great to have but I have enough knives I mean when you're on your feet all the time and you're working the most really the most important part of your job or, or part of your gear would be your socks and your boots and uh, those guys that work on their feet know <laughs> what I'm talking about socks are highly uh, very well we want them <laughs> But anyways, let's go on to, I don't know, I'm not understanding, I'm guessing on the receipt they sent me, the invoice, they did say that I did get a knife, but they said they didn't send it out. Maybe they're going to send it, and they did list something about another two pair of socks. It was listed on the invoice, but it actually didn't come to me, so who knows, they may actually send that later on. Maybe they were just out, don't know. But anyways, on to the boots. I went with uh, 511, as you can probably guess by the uh, box, and I went with the 511 Tactical ATAC 6-inch side zipper boot with the coating on it. it uh, they have this version without the coating, and they have it with the coating. Uh, without the coating, it's like $30 less. With the coating, it's $30 more. But uh, other than the coating, the boot is the exact same boot. There's no difference in the boot. Um, Already looking at this boot, I can tell that the tread is a lot better than the uh, original SWAT tread. It looks like the way the tread pattern is set up, it's not going to wear as bad as the original SWAT one. There's more thickness back on the back right here where original SWAT it was like up to here and it had this type of, type of a pattern and a straight line going all the way back. There's only a small semi pie of that right here and most of your weight is going to hit right here on these treads right here. So less chance of this getting more. I think the design of the heel is a lot better. I can see you, you can just look at the difference that it's going to be. It's going to wear a little. It's probably going to last a lot longer. The heel is the same way. You have the tread just like original SWAT. Their their tread was up here, and it did this kind of wavy all the way down where this has thick, grooved, heavy duty all the way up to the tip, and then just the very tip of it has those grooves. So. I think these will wear better. They're not here, but I went ahead and I'm gonna try. I, I didn't really have a problem with non-air boots, anyways. I didn't. I don't think I'm gonna see much of a difference, but I'm honestly not gonna be able to wear these boots for another three months. I have uh, some training I have to do, some uh, shooting training I have to do, and that requires a lot of prone, just different positions you have to get in. And, you know, you normally don't want to go out there with a new set of boots because they're going to get ruined. I mean, you're going to be laying on concrete. Your boots are going to get scuffed up and scratched up. So usually when you go into that, you want to use uh, used up boots. So when I come back from that, I'll actually start wearing these boots. So it's probably going to be two to three months uh, before I can actually wear these boots. But I'm excited about it because these do look like a good set of boots. I just hope the original SWAT ones I have last that uh, three months because they are uh, pretty bad. Uh, but I think they will but uh, I'll just have to man up and wear them but uh, I don't want to ruin these because they are a nice set of boots uh, but yeah went with 511 
went with the uh, ATAC6 zipper boot, and this is the one with the coating. Uh, like I said, they do have the one without the coating, but I wanted the coating. I'll make an update video after I start wearing them, but just wanted to show you guys what I actually bought. Somebody asked me what boots did you go with. That's what I went with. You guys take it easy.